Hey everyone, my name is Jenny Clary and I'm your transformational nutrition coach and in today's video I'm going to talk about stopping the madness and stop chasing these experts because they're probably doing you more harm than good, which sounds crazy, I know, but I got things backing me up on this. So today's book of the day is The Wisdom of Crowds by Jane Sirwicky, and I love his name. Wiki, wiki, wiki. And uh, he starts off talking about in the introduction about this um, person named Francis Galton, and he wanted to prove that most people in this world were stupid and only a select um, amount of people were ridiculously smart and should make all the decisions and nobody else should, right? And so he did this impromptu experiment when he was at this like livestock event and they were having this competition to see who can guess the right weight of the ox. Now stay with me, this sounds really weird, but it's um, super interesting. So he, um, he took the results from the competition and was like, okay, the average of what everyone submitted because, you know, in his mind, there's only a select few of experts or smarty pants, is right? And everybody else is retarded. So he was like, okay, so the average of that is gonna be super duper bad. <laughs> but what he ended up discovering was that the average and it was out of 787 um, tallies that people submitted for their guesses. Um, the average of that was 1,197 pounds. And guess how much off it was from the correct weight. So the correct weight was 1,198 pounds. So just one pound off, which was like crazy. And Gelton was just so shocked by the um, average. And so what he stumbled upon that day, which James talks about in this book, is the simple but powerful truth that is um, under the right circumstances, groups are remarkably intelligent and are often smarter than the smartest people in them. Groups do not need to be dominated by exceptionally intelligent people in order to be smart. Even if most of the people within a group are not especially well informed or rational, it can still reach a collective, hold on, wise decision. Page turn. This is a good thing since human beings are not perfectly designed decision makers. So listen up to this. Instead, we are what the economist Herbert Sherman called boundedly rational. So we generally have less information than we like. We have limited foresight into the future. Most of us lack the ability and the desire to make sophisticated cost-benefit calculations. Instead of insisting on finding the best possible decision, we will often accept one that seems good enough, and we often let emotions affect our judgment. Yet despite all of these limitations, when our imperfect, oh, when our imperfect judgments are, um, aggregated in the right way, our collective intelligence is often excellent. And this is what he calls the intelligence of the wisdom of crowds. And he goes on to say that we assume that the key to solving problems or making good decisions is finding that one right person who will have the answers to everything, right? Or at least to that one um, topic, right? Um, and he was just like, this is actually goes against that and even when we see a large crowd of people who come to a conclusion of something we always assume it's still a select few of people who helped um, get the right results for it and the argument of the book is that chasing the expert is a mistake and a costly one at that and we should stop hunting and ask the crowd which of course includes the geniuses as well as everyone else instead chances are it knows so I thought this was really amazing because how many times in our lives do we chase the expert and I was like amen because how many times at least for me, like when I've gone to the hospital and got expert advice from the doctor, it was just crap, you know? And, you know, in the book, um, 
I mean, he gives many instances, but I thought it was really funny because he gives a stat at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And if you guys aren't aware of the show, you can, um, if you're if you're stump on a question, you can have a lifeline and you can phone your expert smarty pants friend or you can ask the quote unquote audience who's just like random people who don't want to go to work sit in on a studio TV, you know, set and get their opinion. So, of course, you're going to be like, yeah, right, the audience isn't going to know, right? But check this out. The audience was right 91% of the time for the answer versus the expert was like 65% or whatever the heck it was, right? So, yeah, whenever you have a choice, just always just remember, this is such a great reminder to just not get that one expert opinion. It, that person's just so narrow-minded on the situation that it's not going to be a collective wise decision. So whatever you come up to decide with, just remember to just pull more than one. You know, a lot of times we get second opinions in the medical um, and just kind of get more than just a second opinion. To me, that's kind of scary to just base you know, a very important decision off of just two people, you know, so I really just believe in this collective wisdom and I would love to hear your thoughts about it as well. If you think this is so true as well, um, maybe even give examples in your life where you've um, maybe originally took the expert's advice and then <laughs> not gotten the right um, results as you would have liked or um, examples of when you took the collective wisdom of crowds instead and how much more amazing your results were and I would love to hear about that so put that in the comments down below if you have any questions you can definitely always ask me and put them in the comments down below or email me at connect at jennyclary.net as well as if you can help me out by liking this video if you love this video, if you got some golden nuggets from it, just like I got golden nuggets from James, as well as subscribing to my channel so you can stay in the loop when I do videos about the mind, body, and spirit and how you can get the body you crave and screwing the diet and eating whatever you want, you know, and getting the life, um, happiness, and all that jazz. As always, I love to end my videos by letting you guys know that you guys are amazing, amazing beings. Please stop chasing the expert. Tap into this collective wisdom, which I include as well as our wisdom. A lot of times we table that and we definitely know what we're all about. I mean, it's our bodies. It's who we are. So definitely tap into that and would love to hear from you guys. So take care. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.